V-2 Spirit is one of three strategic heavy bombers in U.S. Air Force service. Originally conceived to infiltrate the Soviet air defense network and attack targets with nuclear weapons, over the decades its mission has grown to include conventional precision attack. The V-2 is the most advanced bomber in U.S. service, and the only one of three types that still carries nuclear gravity bombs. The V-2 is 69 feet long and 17 feet high. It has wingspan of 172 feet, exactly the same as that of the XB-35 and YB-49. It has a speed of 680 miles an hour, and had a maximum altitude of 50, 00 feet. It has an unrefueled range of 6,000 miles, and has mid-air refueling capability. The new bomber was one of the first military aircraft to make widespread use of new composite materials. Nearly 80% of the aircraft is made from woven composites that incorporated glass, carbon, and graphite fibers, while the remainder is made of aluminum and titanium. The Spirit also has a radar absorbent coating whose sole purpose is to further reduce the radar signature. Former Air Force Chief of Staff Larry Welch has stated that the B-2 has a radar cross-section in the insect category. The B-2 has two weapons bays built into the belly section that together can hold up to 60,000 pounds of ordnance. Each bay carries eight bomb racks, and in the nuclear role the bomber can carry an assortment of up to 16 B-61-7 bombs, 10-360 kilotons, B-61-11 bombs, 400 kilotons, or B-83-1 thermonuclear bombs, 1.2 megatons. The Spirit will also carry the new B-61-12 bomb with a dial-a-yield configuration, giving it a yield of 0.3, 1.5, 10 or 50 kilotons. The B-2 does not carry any nuclear-armed missiles at this time but will carry the long-range standoff nuclear cruise missile when it enters service. The need to penetrate advanced air defense networks in the post-Cold War era led to B-2S acquiring a conventional strike capability. The bomber can carry up to 16 Joint Directed Attack Munition JDAM, satellite guided 2,000 pound bombs. In the past it has also carried CBU-87 Combined Effects Munitions and CBU-90 Gator Mine Dispensers, but submunition dispensing munitions are being phased out in US inventories. The bomber also carries the AGM-154 Joint Standoff Weapon, a glide bomb with a range of up to 50 miles and a GPS-based guidance system. For standoff attacks, the Spirit can carry the AGM-158 Joint Air Surface Standoff Missile JASSM, and the new, longer-range JASSMER Extended Range. Finally, the B-2 can carry two 30,000-pound 20-foot-long Massive Ordnance Penetrator MOP, bombs for attacking hardened targets, one per weapons bay. The two bombers would almost certainly take part in any attack on North Korea's nuclear program, which would almost certainly be a part of our escalate to a larger war between Pyongyang, its neighbors and the United States. While the B-1B bomber can launch cruise missile strikes against exposed targets, the B-2 would be sent after the North Korean leadership itself. The Spirit would drop massive ordnance penetrator bombs on hardened and underground North Korean command and control system, ideally disrupting its ability to issue orders to launch missiles. Spirits would also drop mops on any hardened leadership facilities suspected of hiding North Korean leader Kim Jong-un and any concrete protected nuclear storage and missile launch facilities. Conventional or nuclear, the B-2 Spirit can handle almost any precision attack mission in any environment imaginable, located at practically any point on Earth. The new B-21 Raider bomber, said to enter service in the mid-2020s, appears very similar to the B-2. Meanwhile, the current B-2 fleet will likely fly for another 20 years or more. All of this adds up to the Air Force flying bat-winged, stealthy bombers for another 40 or even 50 years, a testament to the original flying wing stealth design that dates all the way back to World War II.